man i can't reach the goal reach are you going whoopi i have reached the goal finally but how well akansha my dear there are some secrets to reaching your goals and the secrets are not just limited to game goals but are also applicable to help you achieve your life goals but before we unfold these ways to achieve your goals let us first introduce ourselves to our viewers hello viewers it's anjali and this is akansha you are tuned in to can't say it's speak your mind the judgment free zone a platform that is virtual guide to ace your life from handling a toxic relationship to manifest what you want in your life we have got you covered today we are here to provide you with a guide yes a guide to achieve your life goals so let's get started so to understand how to achieve your goals first you need to realize the importance of goal setting and achieving it because often we wonder why do i even need a goal the uh but let us share some key benefits of having goals in your life to begin with number 1 goals reinforce your life path and this is where we human beings differ from animals number 2 instead of focusing on life wasting crap you shift your focus on something that truly matters to you number 3 you may clearer and better decisions number 4 you control your future by guiding the change and other benefits will be shared with you by akansha so over to you akansha yes anjali so i'll carry over other benefits of goal setting in your life number 5 is that you get the a good fire and a good motivation back in you the next is that you start to attain peace of mind as well and seventh is that your personal satisfaction is there you start loving yourself more next is that your sense of purpose returns back in your life following which you stop wasting your precious resources and you start using your own time better as well and this helps in creating the best possible version of you with the last uh, i think yeah i would carry uh, consider it as a last point of goal setting but through goal setting you actually learn to take control of your life as well so if you have any personally experience any other benefit of goal setting in your life so please do share it with us in the comments below yes so thank you so much akansha for covering these benefits so beautifully now that you know that why you need goal setting and why you have you, you know you should be having a goal in your life let us start with a session now we generally know that the frequently asked questions or the faq section is taken towards the end of a session but we are taking it before sharing the secrets of setting a goal and achieving it so that the process becomes a lot smoother for you So Kanchan, I really like the idea actually Anjali I really like the idea of taking FAQ section uh, ahead only before we start with the process so actually I was uh, thinking to ask a question over here that what exactly is the goal can you okay. elaborate that part sure so of course before starting to set a goal you should understand what a goal is a goal is an aim an objective or it could simply be anything something that you want to attain achieve or accomplish in your life that is what a goal is now my second question is to you akansha if okay. everyone has a goal why do some people achieve it or why are they able to achieve it but others fail in doing so can you explain us please okay uh, okay remember anjali when we attended the last physical webinar together right mm-hmm. there was one important lesson i learned there and i think it will do justice to this question to you so yes we all have goals some of us have similar goals but some achieve them what others do but why because uh, you know every day waking up and adding one to one only will give you two so you have to wake up and start doing something different to change your outlook 
and those who are able to achieve their goals are actually investing more in that doing more and along with that i would also say they are adding consistency to their towards their goal actually this consistency with the addition of discipline that is only uh, helpful in adding one on one and making it a two so yes and uh, with that only i would like to ask you another question in that that a lot of people ask that question actually and even i am very keen to know that that should you share your goals with others or keep them a secret what do you say okay this is honestly an important question fine because people are always in the dilemma that should i share the goal or should i not share the goal and you hmm. sharing the goal or keeping it as a secret has a lot you know it has a lot of say in whether you'll be able to achieve the goal or not and my answer is yes and no so well to you know remove the confusion the correct answer is it depends according to one study that was done in the year 2009 in the new york city uh you know the study finders uh, the researchers basically said that while it is natural and also tempting to want to announce big goals it is smarter to keep them to yourself so basically shut up whatever your goal is okay. on the okay. contrary a new research at ohio state university says that sharing your goal with a higher up does more than keep you accountable it also makes you motivated simply because you care about what this person thinks of you so to simplify both the studies and tell you the final verdict on whether you should share your goal or not i'll say that you should prefer keeping your lips sealed when working towards a goal but allow yourself to share it with those who push you to achieve it and make sure that this list of those is small and very very you know uh, confidential to you so that is right. what the answer of this question would be be so i think you are right in that case that it depends on person to person if i am somebody who wants to push myself and wants uh, to know what other person is thinking of me i'll definitely go and speak about my goal over there right but if i don't want the world to know what my goals are and i want to stay in a comfort zone i'll probably not share it with anybody is yes. that the same way so just uh, adding one more line to it if you know that someone is just going to fuel up negativity in your process of achieving the goal don't speak about it but if you know that yeah. something is going to motivate you push you towards the same you know fuel you in the right direction so then you can yeah. share but not too much you know because mm-hmm. uh keep it to yourself and share but once you once you have achieved it so you know then you right. can go out and so get it is it i think this is also important that uh, you know the person whom you are sharing the goal with mm-hmm. that is also very important as you said that somebody who is feeling negativity should shall not know about your goal right true true okay okay all right so uh, uh let me come to the next part that uh, how to achieve your goal right now we have taken the faq part but now the question is that how to achieve the goal so there are three major steps and first step i want to take over here is first is that how to identify your own goal right so how many of you here know what your goals are uh, yeah i'm just saying that some of the goals i know that is these might be my goals kind of thing so yeah yeah but that is the problem some some goals are there some goals are cloudy so yeah that's what i'm talking about see until and unless you don't know what your goals what you will be working towards i i'm not sure if those are your goals even or not so first thing first learn to identify your goal or goals number or there could be number of goals also so you know you will find different ways to identify your goals but the best one according to me is one suggested by steve jobs and candy chan but before i tell anything about what they um, mean with this thing there is a disclaimer for everybody that this method of identifying goals might be bitter for some people all right so steve jobs said that remembering that i'll be dead soon is the most important tool i have ever encountered to help me make the biggest choices in life right because it this means that you can visualize your funeral 
and consider what you would want your friends to describe as your legacy now if you are wondering how that helps asking people to spend just a minute imagining a close friend standing up at the funeral and reflecting on their personal and professional legacy helps them to identify their long term goals and assess the degree to which they are progressing towards making those goals a reality so across similar lines candy chan also suggested one thing that he suggested that you can identify your goal just fill in the sentence before i die i want to now you can fill the rest of your goals so you can probably give a shot uh, with this method and uh, what do you think about this actually this step one would you like to take ahead with the next step yeah i'll definitely take up the next step just a small comment on the first one that thank you for the disclaimer you know some people might really find it bitter but i think that you know when you were saying it and i was able to relate that okay at my funeral what would i like people to talk about and you know filling up especially this it is also a psychological technique that you know in complete sentence right. even you complete it then you actually project even your uh unconscious and subconscious motives and feelings and desires so i'm definitely mm-hmm. going to give it a shot and identify that really what i really want to be remembered for and that is what my goal would be thank you akansha for sharing it so step number 2 is setting your goal to accomplish your goal however you need to know how to set them fine i can have multiple goals but how how do i set them that is very very important you know imagine of it like a jelly until unless the jelly is not set properly there is nothing going to work so same applies to your goal your goal has to be set properly so you can't simply say that i want this and accept it to happen goal setting is a process that starts with careful consideration of what you want to achieve and ends with a lot of hard work to actually do it and in between this like you know setting what you want and achieving it there are a lot of steps that are actually taking place in between these two poles so i'm going to share the best steps that helps in goal setting uh these goals have also been uh, addressed in many of self help books and they have gained a lot much of uh, traction from all people around especially mental health professionals so this technique is known as smart goals so the word smart is uh, the uh, basically it is a mnemonic that is used what it stands for let us unfold so s is for specific so to start with you have to be crystal clear and cut off all the ambiguity be very crystal clear that what your goal is akansha in our last webinar as well you know the guest speaker was constantly focusing on even when practicing law of attraction you have to be very clear what exactly you want right can't be really right. ambiguous So I'm going to help you, you know, explain this smart mnemonic with the help of the most common and highly chosen goal that is weight loss. Okay, so instead of being that I want to lose weight, be specific. I want to lose six pounds. I want to lose five kgs in three months. Or be very, very specific that what exactly you want. Okay, so the pro tip is make a goal that denotes achievement and not avoidance. And instead of saying that I want to, you basically you work on your language as well. So instead of saying that I would want to get fat, write something in a very positive line that you know I want to lose weight. I want to be fit. Instead of saying I don't want to be fat, right? I want to be fit. So write it in a very positive and achievement-oriented direction. So that's the pro tip when you're working on being specific. Number two, measurable. Uh, so basically, when you are able to keep progress of your goal, it helps you two way. Number one, it motivates you. Every time you look at the numbers, you're like, "Oh my God, I've come up so far!" So it motivates you. And second of all, on achieving it, you can celebrate it. It's like a milestone for you. Fine. So make sure that your goal that you're setting is measurable for you. Like weight loss, you can measure it very easily. Fine. The best way to help uh, make it happen the pro tip that i'm going to share with you is have a tracker fine so there are multiple trackers available the one that i like to use is the social fever app you can find the link of the same in the comment section but apart from it if you don't have a tracker available you can also track it down for yourself like eight week you know like in one week how much weight i have lost 
how much goal I have achieved. So make sure your goal is measurable. Third is attainable. I think I can't pay enough emphasis on it that how important it is to set a goal that is attainable. Because you know we set so much high expectations from ourselves, like losing 15 kg in three months. Please give yourself a breather. Make something that is more easy for you to achieve. And by easy, I don't mean that you don't put effort in it, but you're not upset when it is not achieved. Okay, so don't aim too high that you miss the target. That's what I'm trying to say here. And the pro tip here is, after setting a goal, always break it into smaller achievable goals. Now work towards those smaller achievable goals and keep moving. And also one more thing, always keep plan B open. Like you decided that I'm going, like I decided honestly, I'll swim for my weight loss. Due to COVID like guidelines, I can't swim. So second plan B is I walk on the terrace because I can't even go to park for a walk. So always look for plan B, pause, think over and just make sure that your goal is achievable. You should be keep moving in the direction. Now comes the R part that is relevant. Here is the point where you add your essence to the goal on one hand and test how real realistic it is on the other. When we say add your essence, we are suggesting you pick a pathway that you enjoy. Make sure that you're enjoying the process of achieving your goal. If not, it will be a major, major setback. Okay, so uh, a pro tip would be always before you know when you're setting your goal, answer two questions. What and why? What is your goal and why is this your goal? This will work as a motivation. Now the final point is time bound, very, very important. So an element of time will make you more goal focused and will motivate you to strive towards its accomplishment. So the pro tip would be set a time in near future, but again, be very, very realistic. So like if I'm losing weight, sorry, I forgot to give the example in the R point. So in relevancy, I can say, what do I want? I want to lose three kg in one month. Why? Because my birthday is coming. So that is your motivation or because I want to fit in a particular dress or because I'm going for a shopping or whatsoever your reason is completely personal. In time bound, I'm assigning time that in one week, I lose minimum 0.5 grams of 0.500 grams. So make sure that your goals are time bound. So this was the smart technique and don't worry, we are sharing a graphic as well as a template that will help you practice the smart goal. That is a new way to set your goals. And trust me, it is definitely going to help you. So do give it a shot. Thank you, Anjali. I think this is such a good idea that you've given the smart goals thing. Super nice, super nice, I would say. Totally liked it. And I'm actually going to follow this. In weight loss, probably. Good one. <laughs> because okay. definitely COVID has given us all some sort of weight gain but yes, yes. I think this is actually good and uh, what I understood through all these points is that uh, the more clearer picture you have in front of you your yes. brain is ready to be focused in that part because you have trained your brain already that you will lose 3 kgs or 5 kgs in next few months just because you have to fit in that wedding dress or that birthday dress you're already very clear on those lines and your brain knows even if you're eating anything unhealthy, your brain is um, already aware of that, that you know, you can maybe have a bite of it or maybe a piece of it, but you don't have to take a whole chunk of it because it will ruin your diet, right? True. Yes, true. It, it very yeah. much, very rightly said, it very much prepares your brain. Thank you for touching on this point, Akash. All right, all right. So next comes to uh, step three. And step three says that how to achieve your goals. Now that you've made your goal, you're clear on that. You're actually clear on that portion. Now comes the action bit. Now to achieve your goals, I'll give you some pointers that you need to keep in your mind. So what you can do is, number one is that you can write your goals down. And this is the first way to put your goals to action. Honestly, honestly, this is. Because the physical act of writing makes it tangible and real also. Because uh, you are then being very assertive on that instead of being unsure and you don't know what to uh, do about it. But you are very sure already 
about this now right and you keep a positive attitude towards it instead of adding a negative uh, statement to that right so let's say again and the example that i wish to save for my wedding right so instead of that you will say i will save for my wedding instead of using i wish thing right you have to be very assertive on that and you can write it down actually on some piece of paper or in your diary that i will save for my wedding yes i will do that right next is that second thing is that you have to actually work towards your goal you cannot just write it somewhere and then start spending it abruptly on things so you have to be proactive towards achieving your goal also you can't simply work on it today and not even think about it for next four days because that's not going to help you honestly so you have to be a little obsessive towards your goal and maybe work daily little by little but i'm sure you'll get there and on third part i would say that you have to visualize your outcome as well because uh, before your goal achievement starts to reflect in the outside world it should also be there in your head so you have to visualize the outcome that you want you desire and then think and behave like you've already achieved it so you know if you are actually um, uh, planning to uh, not planning you are actually thought about that you will save for the wedding then you have to think about it that of course my wedding is done i still have so much in my bank account and now i can still go out and hang out with my spouse now right because now your actions align with what you want to accomplish and everything else will fall into place instantly you will see that so feel how that success will affect every part of your life and the last part is that you have to stick with your goal because i read it somewhere if the plan does not work change the plan not the goal i'm sure you all must have already gone through this but this is actually work so stick with your goal and you might need to come up with new plans to achieve it but make sure that goal is crystal clear in front of you you are just finding ways to achieve that goal but don't change the goal very nice right? yes perfect very well said akansha you know you touched upon the language aspect there what kind of language you should be having the visualization aspect which i believe is connected both psychologically scientifically and according to the uh, you know quantum physics aspect as well so very well covered and when you were doing drawing this maze it it came to my head automatically that you know when you put a rat in a maze or when you find yourself in a maze you don't mm-hmm. change the you know uh, exit point you just keep right. switching your direction to reach the final right. goal and right. that is pretty much applicable so thank you for the virtual representation <laughs> of the same so okay. i hope our viewers have made a note of all these important pointers that will help them identify set and achieve the goal these are the three major processes but now comes the secret ingredient type uh, which i am really willing to share with you so how many of you are football or cricket fans every football and cricket fan please cheer in the comment box or you know just give us a small something action that yes we are cricket or football fans so yes i like cricket fan oh okay. cricket fan <laughs> all right so why do i ask this because reference is important so uh interesting akansha we have quite a few you know cricket and football and a mix fan all right so at least mm-hmm. we have common nerves here or like you know common interest area here so all right so when you see a football or cricket match so do you see that the players are waiting to celebrate at the end like you know virat has hit the boundary no celebration okay mm-hmm. uh, ronaldo has made a goal no celebration or maybe a player has just catch the biggest uh you know uh yes catch the ball but there is no celebration no that mm-hmm. is not the case okay they do not wait for the match to get over then see that who is the winner and who is the loser who is on the winning end who is on the losing end and then they celebrate no that is not how it is done they celebrate each goal they celebrate each boundary they celebrate each wicket they celebrate each little victory of there well right. you should be doing exactly the same with your goals remember me and akansha we both talk, uh, uh, touched upon the fact that little by little reach your goal divide your goal into smaller part 
so don't just wait that okay when i exactly lose 15 kg or well i'll exactly save maybe you know 2 or 5 lakh in my account that is when i'll be celebrating or that is when i'm achieving my goal no you are still in the process so enjoy the process and savor the moment which basically mm. means enjoy single single goal okay so every time just like you know get inspiration from your favorite cricket player or football player each time you take one step towards the goal celebrate it don't forget it just celebrate it and enjoy the process and trust me it's not just me saying it but research has also shown that paying attention to the so called small will wins can help you make progress towards your goal and in many other areas of your life so get inspired and start celebrating each victory please akansha we are celebrating definitely after this webinar goal achieved okay <laughs> All right, all right. So now, please don't just end your goal achieving journey with this talk show. Fast, take it as a starting point and start working towards it now on. And if you need any other help, we are always here, and you can write to us on our social media platform here in the comment section as well as well as on our YouTube channel. So get up, get going, and we will see you again very soon. Okay. Thank you, Akansha. Thank you, viewers. Bye, bye. Have a good day. Take care and keep smiling.